I think, though, the time has come for us to go below and catch another super presentation of the Mail Call Dramatic Society of the Lower Deck. I think you have a part in it, June. So let's hurry. We don't want to miss any of Danny Thomas's thrilling performance. Dingle. Hmm. Dingle, I ain't never seen you before, have I? No. Let's do that more often. Goodbye. Yeah, but... Goodbye. Yeah, but... hmm. Big shot opera singer. I could be an opera singer. Nah, I'm too skinny. I could be a crooner. Yeah, I'm too fat. He goes, me, 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 me. All he does is sing about himself. Wise guy. What's he got anyway? Fame, fortune, prestige, talent? Who needs those things? I do. <laughs> Tries to brush me off. I should have said, I should have said, I'm not standing around here because I want to hear you. I'm waiting for that cigarette butt. I should have said. <laughs> Says to me, go home and get sick. I should have said, butter your throat, your corn is dripping. <laughs> wow! Says to me, I'm a busy man. I should have said, if you're so busy, what are you wasting your time on a dope like me for? I should have said. What's the matter with you? What are you worried about an opera singer? Don't be a dope. You could be bigger than that. Yeah, what could I be? You could be a composer. I could. Sure. A composer of operas. Why not? It's a free country. You're a citizen. I can just see you now. Giuseppe Dingle, the greatest composer in the world. Uh, thank you, thank you, ladies and gents, and the musical lovers. Uh, thank you for the way you receive my new opera, The Mailman from Seville. <laughs> As you all know, I am now the greatest opera composer in the world. I voted the number one by the Down the Beach magazine. <laughs> Before I took over, all of you good people used to pay seven to five cents to hear the opera. <laughs> And what are you here? Ha 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 I remember when I was a little bambino. Even then, I knew I was going to be the great opera composer. Giuseppe, you got a bad report card from school. Get over my knee, I'm going to spank you. My papa called this opera the handful chorus. <laughs> uh, this opera made me very rich, but I wasn't happy. And why wasn't I happy? Because I wasn't rich enough. I remember the Pensa house I lived in. You know what it is, a Pensa house? A Pensa house is a little house that's so high, you nobody can reach it. <laughs> so they build a bigger house on the bottom. <laughs> One day, my wife, she's coming to me and say, Giuseppe, don't be unhappy. You have everything. A penthouse overlooking the harbor. Look, is that a U-boat? No, that's not a my boat. <laughs> you know... You know... You know, Minestrone, I was a thinking... I was just thinking about the time I buy the piano and I begin to compose. I write 12 piano concertos, and 9 variations under the theme for the piano, a 3 piano e tutti, before I sell anything. Well, what did you sell? The piano. <laughs> well, that's over and done with. Don't brood about it. What a lovely terrace we have now. Mm. Is that a eucalyptus tree? No, it's not a eucalyptus tree. <laughs> It's no use. It's no use you try to make me feel a good minestrone. You know, I'm a thinking of what is the opera. What is the opera? The fat lady singing to the fat man. The fat man is singing to the fat lady. Fat lady, fat man, fat man, fat lady. Seven to five cents. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I must leave you and go to America. I'm a such a big shot now that the Warner Brothers make a picture of a meat call of the life of Paul Muni. <laughs> you know, in America, all the great men who have a picture of them look like a Paul Muni. <laughs> Except that those that are married to Greer Gar, so they look like a Walter Pitch. <laughs> You're going to come into the movies and see my face. 
I'm gonna say I love you, play the music, I love you, play the music, I love you, play the music, music, I love you. Sixty-five cents. <laughs> Mr. Dingle, we're ready to go to the pier. You got the instructions how to go? I go straight down two miles and make a U-turn. Nobody's going to make a me turn. <laughs> I was just saying we have to make a U-turn to get to the boat for America. Hey, well, you not tell me how to go to America. I just to come back. I write to my greatest composition about it. Really? What's it like? My shows. I sing it for you. <laughs> The people she said Don't fence me in <laughs> Ah, it's a great country, America That's a fine place to be You shop where it says Five and ten on the sign and everything you buy, she's a cost of 39. <laughs> ah, it's a great country, America. Everybody there, she's a free. You know, you learn that the democracy makes everything a cinch. No matter what you want to know, you never in a pinch. And when you're going to have a bambino, you find out if I'm well to winch. <laughs> To the place for me And there's one thing I like very strong That's what they call The boogies, woogies song <laughs> You sing it to a man named Jackson And you don't know Then your holler sends me But you got no place to go You feel a groove You say, hello, Joe I miss the fives by six. <laughs> you blow your brains out in a horn. I see the boogies beat. You make a crazy dance until you break your feet. This makes you feel a fine and then you holler, reap. Oh, slips me some skins. Well, yo! <laughs> then you talk it to the swing in the doors. You always says, greetings, gate. And whenever you go out of this world, you still in the United States. Zoot! <laughs> you throw the girl around until her face is she's a green. You holler scrubs me mama. You very clean. Simple like apple pie. See what I mean? Her daddy beats me up. <laughs> ah, it's a great country, America. That's a fine place to be. You know, they got a fella, he's a croon with a bow tie on the collar. And all of the girls, she's swooning, she's screaming, she's a holler. A croon, a swoon, a swoon, a croon. Let's make a million dollar. <laughs> That's an O'Hay, kid. <laughs> America. That's the place for me. Thank you, Benny Collins. You really sailed us back into port safe and sound. I see the shore lights over to the starboard, and the Liberty boats are waiting to take passengers and crew back to shore. But before any of you take leave, let me remind you that there'll be another mail call crew sailing next week. Try to be aboard, will you? Until then, this is your skipper, Mary Scott, saying so long, and God be with you. is secured. Signatures on tonight's ship's log include Bing Crosby, Gloria De Haven, Groucho Marx, June Allison, Loretz Melchior, Danny Thomas, Carlos Ramirez, and your lovely guest skipper, Mary Scott. Another mail call will be coming your way the next time you hear... This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.